And finally, we have arrived here at the Hongmua Cave, and our ticket cost like uh, 100,000 BND or $5 USD. And our tour guide was the one who bought for us, and we don't have to do anything but just to follow his instructions. And now we are heading towards the peak part of this Hongmua Cave. This is also considered as the Great Wall of Vietnam and um, or the most beautiful viewpoint in Ninh Binh. And not to mention the Hong Mua Cave has become one of the most popular viewpoint locations in Vietnam. And it's totally understandable why. Come and join us and let's tour around and see what is this Hong Mua Cave has to offer with us. <laughs> have to take that staircase in order for us to see the viewpoint my god we need to drink coconut first <laughs> I highly recommend keeping your hands free. Therefore, not holding things like water bottle, phone, or camera is best, so bring a backpack to stash everything away. Inside your backpack, you must load up a large of bottle of water, snacks, once you reach on the top, and the plastic raincoat in case of a downpour. Cash if there's no ATM around and any sort of camera girl use. And of course, I recommend wearing closed shoes with plenty of grips. Some of these steps may be a little slippery and you most definitely won't want to take a tumble. You will come across numerous Vietnamese tracking this viewpoint in high heels, flip-flops, and barefoots. But don't copy them. They are very used to it, to the conditions, and they know what they are doing. So it might be nice to bring a fan to cool yourself down, nonetheless you will be extremely hot so I advise wearing loose fitted and breathable clothing. And also make sure that you have no heart problem or any giddiness. And the Hangwa Peak is such a beautiful viewpoint that it's also a popular place to have your wedding pictures taken. Or you can just enjoy to have your few pictures taken of yourself. Yes, and that's me enjoying the views and taking pictures by myself with my selfie stick. And also you can climb the famous dragon. So if you want to go even farther up, you can climb to the famous dragon statue at the Hang Mua Peak. But on top of that, it's actually quite dangerous. So the climb to the dragon is not very safe and once you are here, it's hard to balance on the rocks then throw in 40 people trying to get there at the same time and uh, it's very scary. 
I get all shaky so I have to stop so I wouldn't suggest climbing the extra couple of meters to the Muakib dragon unless there are only handful people around you but please if you do go to the dragon then watch your step and don't fall off the cliff so I'll just stay here where I can feel that I am As safe as you can see in the picture behind me is the first viewpoint but I didn't able to go there anymore because I feel so tired and after to the Hongwa Cape Peak I will just went down to go to our tour pass and didn't able to go to other side anymore and it's very scary going down there so if you go there you make sure that you are fit and well and now it's time to go home and time for massage after a very very tiring day thank you so much for watching and it's massage time during midnight after our three days oh no our three destinations in a day and if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And see you in my next video. So we are, so we are very tired of our food. So it's time for us to do the body massage. We shall head massage. So if you like we bought a package. So it's all over the body. So this is what is my agenda for my birthday. I will take the package that is a Thai therapy special. It's already included the steam bed for 15 minutes with body scrub, fruits or coffee for 30 minutes and Thai traditional massage and plus the facial skin care for 60 minutes. Please like and subscribe para updated ka sa lahat ng video. Salamat!